I'm Craig Eason from Lloyd's List and we're continuing our look at the impact on piracy on the ship owner. With me is Peter Cook from the Security Association of the Maritime Industry. Peter, one of the impacts that we've seen is for ship owners to take a more proactive approach to bring in on private security. But there has been a lot of questions over the relevance of bringing in security and whether they are, they are actually the right people. I can completely understand why um, shipping companies would be concerned. The maritime industry um, is probably second only to the United States as the most um, legally um, bound organization or, 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 or area. Um, and they are always concerned that they are going to be uh, liable to some form of criticism for what they do and how they do it. Now in May and September of this year, the IMO um, formulated a number of circulars um, at the Maritime Safety Committee um, that were designed to provide guidance and recommendations to um, ship owners, ship managers, masters, flag states and port and coastal states about what they should do and how they should work with maritime security companies. Uh, the first one, which is 1405, has gone into a lot of detail about the way that um, private maritime security companies should be selected. And uh, the Security Association for the Maritime Industry, SAMI, is using those um, and to actually uh, conduct um, an accreditation program for the maritime security companies um, so that the ship owners can be confident that those particular companies that are able to complete the accreditation program are up to that standard. By utilising 1405 we're going to be able to um, provide the third party accreditation body that we're using um, with exactly what the requirements are and it will be a three stage accreditation process, the first one being due diligence, the second one being an audit of the headquarters and the way in which they conduct their operations and the third phase will be looking at the um, teams just about before they're about to embark or just having disembarked the ship to make sure they're working. Um, and I think that that's absolutely key. That whole system and what we do and how we do it will be completely transparent. A number of flag states are still quite reluctant about permitting private security to go on board their flag vessels. And it remains um, a controversial point as to whether they're permitting naval forces to go on board or military to go on board or private security. How should a ship owner, in your opinion, how should a ship owner be looking at the two different scenarios that they have in front of them when it comes to having lethal weapons on the vessel? Well, inevitably, there's a lot of sensitivity about the use of lethal weapons. Um, and in the wrong hands, they're very dangerous. In the right hands, they're a very useful tool, which is actually all they are. Um, inevitably, people will be concerned about um, the uh, reliability of the private maritime security companies, but that's why we've got the SAMI accreditation pro program in place and how we're going to do that. It should also be borne in mind that if you do use a, um, a vessel protection detachment, from one of the armed forces that are providing them at the moment. The likelihood is that rather than having what would normally be a four-man team if you went for a private company, you would have eight plus on board. So you would have to ensure that the ship could take those additional personnel for that trip. In order for them to arrive in the um, port of departure, um, the team would have to fly in using two separate aircraft, one for ammunition, one for personnel, so it's not seen as an invading force. The diplomatic clearances can take time. Um, and also, um, some countries are reticent to do this because the level of medical care um, that they have to provide to um, a serviceman who is injured um, is such uh, a heavy burden that actually um, you have to pretty much have a, a warship tied to you or within one hour of you all the time. Um, and finally, um, if you're invited to pay for a vessel protection detachment, um, you'll normally find that it will cost you half, sorry, twice as much um, as a private maritime security company team would cost you.